for each of you guys, um, maybe Jordan, you, you could uh, take it first and you guys go across that way. But um, Ricky Council, uh, Nick was saying last week that he thought he was athletic too. He saw Ricky. I just wonder what your take was on Ricky's athleticism, just kind of what do you think about him as a teammate, what, what he adds to the team? Um, George. You know, of course, you know, with building a championship run team, you need people who can do different things. And Ricky's special thing is, or one of his special things is being athletic and being able to get out in transition and finish those dunks, finish those plays, catch lobs from transition, or even in the half court, you know, we'll do things that we know he can do that some other people can't do, which are really athletic plays that he does on a daily basis. And we trust him to do on a daily basis. Um. Picking back off what Jordan said, Ricky's an athletic guy. Like, he has unlimited athleticism. Uh, like he said, building a championship team, you know, you need a guy that can run the floor, do the little things. And, you know, Ricky's competitiveness is, like, off the chart. So, really, really need that added to the team. Yeah, um, he's just a uh, freak of nature. I don't, I don't know. He's one of the bounciest guys I've ever, ever played with uh, in college. Um and, you know, he, he hustles hard. He's a, he sprints in an open offense and all the, every every drill we do. So, yeah, it's, he's just, yeah, really, really athletic. Question for Barry. Coach Moss was in here a minute ago, and he mentioned a lot of former players and alumni who, who've come back uh, and that a lot of them have mentioned that they really enjoy playing with you. I, I'm just curious, one, what's your reaction to, to hearing that? And then, two, what is it that, that you think makes you a great teammate? Kind of all, you know, I'm glad I got a compliment for that. You know, you know, thanks to Coach Muska, you know, just teaching me the game, you know, teaching me how to play the right way and playing with those guys. You know, they've been there where we all trying to get to and just playing with them, playing the right way. You know, you can see a lot of success in that. And, um, I mean, I, I was just grateful for the compliment. And right now I'm enjoying it. Jalen, just curious, uh, what are some of the big differences differences you've noticed uh, from your previous stop to here and, and then what growth have you seen in your individual game since you arrived on campus? Um, just, just how many reps we do uh, of drilling and just, um, you know, the defensive uh, in practice and just how hard we practice, stuff like that. Um, just feel like everybody, like as a team, is just as a player is not, not even just the coaches, just as players just want, want like to go hard in every single drill and it, and it makes everybody go hard. So and individually, you know, just being there every day and just working hard and, and it just improved, improved my game in a, every facet, I feel like. Um, and I'm just in better shape and, you know, just excited for what's, what's to come. Where do you feel like your, your game has grown uh, since you got here, maybe where you've matured most? And, and for the other two guys, just what have y'all seen from Jordan uh, and what, what do you think he brings to the roster? You go first. You want to go first? Let me, let me go first. All right. <clears throat> um, so areas of focus that I had personally during, um, coming into this season, coming into college was, you know, I wanted to be able to shoot the ball with range, consistency, being consistent with it was kind of like my main focus. I wanted to get that down first. Now, of course, there are other things I need to work on, you know, basketball IQ, just not turning the ball over, just stuff like that that will help, you know, me be an asset to Coach Muss and be help winning. Um, since I've got here, I've gotten a tremendous amount of shots up, a tremendous amount of makes that have, you know, helped me in becoming a better shooter. So now that I'm making those strides, now it's time, okay, I need to become a better passer. I need to become a better, you know, a leader, just stuff like that, that I'm working on personally that I know I need to work on to help the team, you know, to become more successful and be more I guess, available to win. Jordan is like a stat stuffer. He's offensive rebounds, defensive boards. He can run the floor. And his lift on defense is amazing. It's like he can cover three guys. His effort is amazing. And, I mean, Jordan's going to bring a lot to the table this year. Yeah. I see uh, Jordan Walsh, you know, just being, uh, you know, Mikael Bridges up from the Suns, kind of like that type of player, uh, you know, just score on, on uh, offense and then, you know, just – We'll lock down a, a guy on D and, you know, we'll, we'll be great for um and help defense and stuff like that with his length. Um, he's so long um, and he can also, uh, you know, guard, you know, a guard or he can guard, you know, a big wing. So it's going to help out a lot.
this year. You're speaking my language with Mikael Bridges. Um, Jordan, just um, I can't remember when Eric said this, but he called you a violent defender, like to jab at the ball a lot. Um, it said that can sometimes lead to some overaggression. I guess just how would you assess yourself as a defender? For sure. Um, you know, I'm really competitive and really aggressive. So um, sometimes I'll tend to overplay the ball while I'll, go, I'll get in the passing lanes for steals. I might miss sometimes. I might gamble a couple of times here and there, but I'll also get a couple of steals that, you know, lead to transition buckets that lead to dunks on the other end that, you know, gets not only me hype, but my team and the fans and everybody in the gym. So it's also, obviously those are the positive sides, but, you know, gambling and putting my team at a disadvantage is the negative things I need to work on and be able to minimize that so that I can not put them at a disadvantage and just stay solid and guard the whole position to just make our team better defensively as a whole. Maybe we can touch on this. Jordan, you can start by going across. Um, just how excited, I know it's not SEC play and our the Maui Invitational, but how excited are you guys to go over and play in these games? And, you know, you've been practicing obviously hard for it. Just how excited are you to, and, and to get the experience maybe to go to Europe if, if you haven't been there before? Oh, for sure. For sure. Um, to me, it's more than just, you know, a basketball trip. It's a team bonding trip and being able to get away from, you know, just having scrimmages within our team. We get to go and we get to play against grown men in Spain. And for me, that's the that's the best part, because I want to be able to reach out and be able to play against those grown men, because hopefully that could be my future. Eventually, I want to play against those older, those older people and more mature people. But it's it's also about like, you know, going out and bonding as a team and having fun together, not just as a team, but as a staff, like with the staff, just stuff like that is going to help us become a better team for the future. I feel like it's going to be a great trip. You know, we've been working all summer, getting better as a team. I feel like this is going to be a trip that really helps connect because, you know, connection and teamwork all leads into March. And that's what we're trying to get to, to that final four. So I feel like this trip is going to be better for the team and for what we're trying to get to. Yeah, same thing, you know, I uh, actually was able to go to China with ASU and um, on that trip, you know, the experiences you make with your teammates on, on those type of trips are, you know, just very, very helpful uh, throughout the whole year, you know, you bond with everybody, you know, you always, you just see, it, you see each other so much and um, it's just going to help us out. And I'm, I'm very excited to, you know, go to Italy and Spain with, uh, with, the, with my teammates. Yeah, no offense to China, I don't want to piss them off but they have a pretty res restrictive uh, society over there I think how much uh, more are you looking forward to maybe going to Italy and Spain that those sounds like you know if I wanted to go someplace I'd go to there not China how do you feel about that I, I hear you and that's that's for sure uh uh I feel like it's gonna be a better trip um yeah it was there was some restrictions it was kind of like a little different out there in China but I mean it's different Italy and Spain as well but um yeah I'm just excited to go be a part of it one more, you guys, obviously you're young and in good shape, but uh, Eric was saying he thought y'all did about 90 push-ups at the end with that free throw drill. Um, well, what, what do you think about that? Um, and and, uh, and Eric, every, you know, and of course, you guys probably know Eric had shoulder surgery, you know, last year. Um, what, what, or actually, it was in February, so it was earlier this year. But what, what, what do you think about that drill and doing all those push-ups? And then what do you think about Eric and the coaching staff doing it with you guys? Um, when I first got here, I think we started doing that drill, like, the, the same week we got here and uh, I was like doing the push-ups and I looked up and I saw like all the coaches doing all like, Oh, wow. Like that's, that's different, but you know, it's just another, another way to uh, get everybody involved, everybody bonding stuff like that. Everybody's a part of the team, you know, even from the coaches to the GAs and everybody. So it's just another way to show everybody that we're, you know, our connection is going to be strong this year. Can you guys get those two about the push-ups? Like, like I said, P by four, Jalen said, it really shows that we're like one hog, like we're one team. We're together. It just shows how important we mean to each other and what we're trying to get to. And I mean, it was a lot of pushes. We're going to be really strong, I'll tell you that. Um, I feel like simple things like that show the unity of not just the players, but the program as a whole, with the coaches doing it on the court, in the middle of the court, and also the staff on the sidelines, in the middle of the court, you know, the rebounders, everybody, you know, doing one thing as a, as a moving unit is um, something that's going to help us, you know, have that little bit of advantage over a great team in March, which is what we need because, you know, elites are cool, but we're trying to get to that final four, the championship. Like, that's the goal here, and Coach Mus knows that, so he's going to do whatever it takes to get there. Um, how many practices is this now today? Do you guys know how many it is? 
out of 10, eight. Um, it looked like Rick, it looked like Eric, he said it was a, on a scale of one to 10, it was a six. It looked, of course, we don't, you know, practice is usually closed, but he looked pretty intense. There was a point where he made you guys get online and run. And, um, you know, he, he seemed pretty intense. I mean, what have these practices been like for you guys? Because obviously, you know, Jay, I know you've been through a lot of college practices, but not at Arkansas and you guys are new. Just what, what, what y'all think about how these practices have been and how Eric's been in them? Um, I think that these, these practices are, are just a, another step up from what I've, I've been a part of, just uh, to be honest. Um, you know, it's just you, you, when you practice like with the team and like with the coaches, you can just tell how intense or like where, where they've been and where they want to go. Um, throughout this whole summer, it's been like, um, uh, it's just been uh, like easier for me to be a part of this just because I, I, I can tell that they want to, you know, be in the Elite Eight. They want to be Final Four. They've been there. They know what to do. They know what they're talking about. So, it's just uh, super intense, and um, it, but like everybody wants to be a part of it. Like the practices have been on um, practices where it's like paying attention to detail, on the little things that matter, and it's like um, practices with a lot of compassion for the game of basketball, and they're trying to instill that in us. There's a lot of things you know we have to do. There's a lot of things that lead up to being like great, a great team leading to March Madness. So, you know, things like that it really help us as a team. And I, you know, I love the practice. It could put us in condition, get us better every single day, and uh, connect us as a team. Um. So. Since I've been here, which obviously has not been that long, but um, I've heard Coach Must say a couple of different things. You know, he's saying that we're practicing this hard now to prepare for March, or we're locked, we're this locked in now because we have to be even more locked in in March. And I feel like those those sayings really connected with me because obviously I haven't been there, so I have to trust what he's saying. I have to buy into what he's saying and the culture that he's building. And everything from, you know, us running or, you know, the details and passing drills, how you're stepping, how you're passing, how you're talking, just stuff like that is things that can carry over to March that can have you, that can help you for the big moment when you're, you know, in March playing in front of however many thousands of fans, those small things can help you help your teammate out, you know, get that extra possession. For each of you guys, what have y'all's impressions been of the twins? Um, Trevin was in here last week, and he said that they talk a lot, um, but and they bring pretty good energy uh, to the floor. I guess just what are y'all's y'all's impressions been? Um, my impression for the twins, uh, you know, just great people, hard workers, uh, you know, very competitive, um, you know, and they got each other's backs, you know, and they got the whole team's backs as, as well. They they do talk a lot, and um, you know, they're just great great people to be uh, teammates with. Same thing, the twins talk a lot. We had a, a team bonding when we went to go boxing and they had jumping jacks and they came in, brought the energy and made it fun, made it competitive. It was just a good time and you know, they talk a lot, um, bring energy to practice every single day. I mean, great teammates to have. Yeah, the twins are funny. They're really <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, they turn any small like activity into just this big fun event. Like, no matter what we're doing, we could just be, I mean, we could spin be playing class. Uno or something. We're doing, like, a spin class, just riding bikes. And they're over here screaming, rapping, freestyling. Dancing. I'm like, bro, <laughs> it's early. How you got this energy? And it's, it's always funny, you know, hanging around them. It's always fun. Plus, on the court, they always work hard. Um, they're also fun to play with. Uh, when they're mad, they, like, they go crazy. And they're, like, super competitive, too. So they make for a great team environment, for sure. You guys have been playing with FIBA ball for a while, I guess 24 second clock, and you know, did different rules. And of course, you know, you all want to play in the NBA, and that they obviously have the 24 second shot clock. Um, what have you thought about getting used to the FIBA stuff? And I'm Eric says he's not going to let you goal tan because you can't do that during a regular season. But well, what have you thought about, you know, the FIBA rules, the FIBA ball, and the faster pace and all that stuff? Maybe Jordan and, and you got other guys could take it. Um, so I was fortunate I was able to, you know, be around USA a little bit. So I was able to kind of like get used to FIBA a little extra. You know, AB was also there. Um, I got to get used to them a little bit when it came to like practicing and just kind of like knowing the rules. So it wasn't that big of a change for me, um, but it still was because, you know, playing for us is a little bit different. Um, out of bounds isn't quite out of bounds when you're playing with for Coach Muss in practice. So it's, the rules are a little bit different, but it's still things you have to get used to with FIBA, and it's been a fun experience so far. 
my first time using a FIFA ball, but I've been like, all of us been shooting, getting used to it, practicing with it, doing workouts with it individually. And just the way we practice with the coach must prepare for us. Um, all year we've been doing shot clock ever since we got here in May. So I think we're used to it. And I think we're ready prepared to go overseas. Yeah, same thing. Uh, we've been using the FIBA ball for uh, a long time now, and um, everybody's, you know, used to the FIBA ball. That everybody's used to uh, the 24-second shot clock. We've been playing for that or with that for, I think, two weeks now, three weeks now. Um, so, you know, we're just all ready and prepared for this trip. Megan, you played FIBA rules in chat, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir.